Hello YouTubers, this is the Free to Play Master here with my fourth video review. Today I will cover Operation 7, a tactical free to play shooter that is leaning in iron sights and probably is one of the best damn free shooters out there. Operation 7 has old looking at realistic graphics with well modeled and textured guns and characters. And unlike other free to play shooters, Operation 7 has good looking third per person animations. All of the animations, both in first person and third person, flow very well together, which is something not seen before in an Asian free to play shooter. There are lots of nice looking special effects, like when you sprint, the edges of your screen get all blurry. Pretty cool. There is a lot of blood in to be found here as well. Whenever you shoot an enemy, blood splatters. When you get shot, blood splatters all over your gun. Some may like this, others may not, since the blood may make you think this game is trying to make itself feel mature. There are no physics, but like Crossfire, there are many death animations to compensate for this. My only real beef with the graphics is the font and the spelling. Operation 7 is a better localization team. The sounds are realistic and uh, suitable for this tactical shooter, but they go, go beyond regular sounds. Stealth plays an important role here as well. If you run around, you'll make a lot of noise with your footsteps, and the enemy can hear you, and vice versa. But if you move slowly, your enemy will have a tougher time detecting you. This is also unseen in a free-to-play shooter. The one thing I don't like about this game is the announcer. It talks like one of those hyperactive guys from the TV commercials. While he's cheesy and very bad-sounding, he's also quite funny to listen to at the same time. The gameplay here is excellent. These guys really nailed down the formula for a tactical shooter. Moving slowly, using cover, using iron sights, it just works excellent here. The only downside to the gameplay is the occasional bullet lag, but unlike Soldier Front, this rarely occurs. The best part about Operation 7 is its gun customization. There's an incredible amount to customize. The stock, the sights, the barrel, the size of the magazine. No game, free or otherwise, has this much amount of customization options available. Operation 7 easily wins a 5 out of 5. I leave you now with a video of a sample of gun customization. See you on the battlefield.